Hello everyone. Our today's problem is code forces beta round hashtag 89 div 2 and in this we will be solving a string task. So I have so here is the our this is the statement of our problem. This problem is what that we are given a string that is for example we are given a string 2 and in that string we have to find that the letters it should not contain the letters this if it contains letter a o y e u i so it will print them as uh, i mean if that letter is not this is is, is not of this is uh, this vowels so it will print dot and then that letter for example as this here is given our tool so firstly t is there and in t the, it is it, it does not this vowels does not contain this t so we have printed it as in lower case that <coughs> dot t is there okay then after that o and u o and u both o and u are here you can see that both o and u are here so we are not printing them okay then after that there is r r so we are printing that r with a dot okay as it is we are also having second example <coughs> that is code forces Firstly, C does not contain C does not is not in that is this vowels. So firstly, we will print what dot with lowercase C. It means all the letters should be in lowercase. So firstly, what we will do? We will convert all the the strings all the letters in lowercase. Then we will identify that whether that that strings character is con that contains this vowels or not. Then we will print that thing okay as it is you can see that o o, con, o o is there so we will not print o then code forces d d we will print dot d then e e contain e is a vowel dot f then o o is also a vowel r r is not a vowel so we are printing dot r okay <coughs> c c is also not vowel we are printing dot c E is a vowel because it is given here and S S is also not vowel so we are not printing that vowel okay and all the things are in lowercase so now we move to the solution this is our solution I have already created the solution okay so firstly I have included two header files that is iostream.h and has include string dot h i mean sorry i io stream and string both the files are here then using namespace std then main function or main function starts so firstly i have declared two strings in first string i will store the input by the user okay in the second string i am storing a o y e u i the vowels which are given to us the vowels which are given to us but in the lower case okay i am storing this in lower case after that i have also initialized a count i will tell you what is the use of this count okay then i have used here the for loop okay i have used for loop in which i have initialized i which is equal to 1 and which is i is less than a string dot length it means a string dot length means string dot length means this length of the string which is this for example if we are having this one right this tool its length is 4 0 sorry 1 2 3 4 its length is 4 that's why i have used that the str str one dot length and the i plus plus then it will firstly con check that it will firstly initialize the count is equal to 0 okay then it will convert the str of i to the lower it, in, it, it will convert in lower case so that's why i have used here to lower to lower actually is used to convert a particular character into a lower case okay if i will use here to upper so it will convert that that strings character to that upper case okay so after that i have used this for another for loop in which j is initial i have initialized j is equal to 0 j should be less than str2 length it means the length of this str2 length which is uh, nearly 6 which is 6 it should be less than 6 okay then j plus plus so in what happened when i will 
take when I will consider its first character. For example, I have come con in. For example, we are having two. Mm, wait for a second. We are having what two? So what will I do in this statement? We will get what the str one is equal to str one of zero. When it when i will be equal to zero, so we will be having a character that is t. Okay. So then after that we will check this t with every character of this a o y e u y in this for loop. We will be we will be counting. I you can say or we will be checking that what is if that character matches to this string or not. Okay. So if it matches. So it means it will in increment the count and break and exit from the loop. Okay, and if it is not matching, so what it will it will do? It will not initialize the count. Okay, and then it will go to the condition that if that count is equal to zero, because if count will be equal to zero, so it means it doesn't match to any of the condition here which are present. It means it doesn't match to this strings any of the character. Okay, after that it will print. With the dot sign, that is string which is which we have, which is the I mean which is whether it is of first first index or second index or whatever the index is, okay. And as it is, this loop will go on, so on, so on, and then we will get the answer. So I can run this program. Uh, wait for a second. It is running. Hope so. So T O U R. This is this was our input, okay, and this is our output. Even if I will enter code forces, you can see this. This is the output, and you can match this output with that. This this one, you can see that here is our code forces. And here is this this output. Okay, so both are matching. It means our program is successful. So we can submit this problem. Thank you very much for watching this video, friends. And thanks a lot.